Good morning, YouTube. Where's the camera at on this thing? Good morning, YouTube. Y'all ain't gonna believe this, but uh, let's see here. How do I? Can I not flip it? There we go. I came down here to bush hog this today, and I forgot my camera. So, uh, so I don't know how good of a video I'm gonna be able to make. Just using my phone. Probably not very good. Let's see. He said, all right. Yep, we got six foot bush hog here. Sure wished I'd have brought my GoPro, but I sure forgot it. So, I'm really looking forward to making this video today too. And I put my GoPro on charge before I left the house and I left it at the house still on charge. But I'll try to get a little bit of a few clips today. Maybe I can put something together here. Well, folks, it's muddy. That's what's going on here. It's muddy. Do as much as we can today. We're 
We're bush hogging, folks. Y'all thought I was gonna get stuck, didn't you? But I ain't. This stuff is hard. I mean, this ground is hard. And it, but it just stays wet on top. It's a, it's kind of weird, but you can drive, I mean, you can feel it when you hit it, you know. It, there's a underground, above, I don't know what you'd call it, underground river or spring or something runs through this property. And I have about decided to just get a big June before this particular piece of ground dries out. That's if we don't have a wet summer this year. So this property's always wet, so I've just decided to go ahead and bush hog it. Let it dry up. We're gonna come back and bush hog it again in the summer anyway. If some of these ruts are too bad, we'll just have to fix them this summer when we come back. But I don't think they're too bad. It's just there's water standing on top of the ground, but like I said, you can drive through it and the ground is hard. But this particular area of the, the uh, this particular particular this particular area in the north part of this county here, well, it stays like that all the time. So there's not very many times a year you can come out here and bush hog this that it's not muddy. So, but we're making it. We're not stuck yet. just two places. It's right here. It goes across. Right there. And it crosses this field right through there. And then there's another spot right here that does the same thing. And it crosses from that corner of the field over it up in there. And it's just where water drains across this field. And there just ain't much much else you can do with it except just deal with it. If you was to try to farm this there's only about two or three acres in this little field, but if you was to try to farm it, it'd be like that year round it'd be it'd be hard to ever get hay in off of it or or anything like that so that's why probably better about the only thing you can do with it is put some animals out here that's why it's just bush holes because it's just a, it's just not good land to start with wasteland i guess you'd call it I've done this place, I just went around it, but there ain't much left in it. I can almost go through. It's about all rotted away. 
Looks like I still won't have to go around. Got it done. Well, we got that job done. Not without getting the tractor muddy first. So, yeah, she's dirty. <laughs> Not your typical bush hogging job. We even got the bush hog muddy. That was a real swampy area that just never, never really does dry up. And it needed to be mowed. One of the neighbors has got chickens, and that farm had gotten growed up so bad that the coyotes and stuff was able to get to the chickens and at, at one of the neighbor's properties. So they were wanting to get that cleaned up. Try to cut down on some of the predators that were, that were living in that area or in that field or hunting in that field. Getting the neighbor's chickens and stuff. So well, we got it mowed. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like seeing videos of the 5075E or or the 3032E or other things that we do here on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, only about five or six percent, when I post a video, when I post a video, only about five or six percent of the views are from people that are actually subscribed to the channel. So about 95% about of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So uh, we're creeping up on uh, creeping up on a thousand subscribers we've got 850 subscribers so we need 150 more subscribers so you know if you watch the video hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel uh, it doesn't cost any money it's free you know uh, you have to have a YouTube account to subscribe all you have to have to make a YouTube account is an email address so if you don't have one 
maybe you know set one up and get somebody to help you set one up so you can at least hit the subscribe button on uh on some of the channels that you watch or some of the videos a lot you know helps us out uh youtube doesn't recognize you as a channel until you have a thousand subscribers and once you reach that 1000 subscriber mark you're able to become a youtube partner and then you can sign up for adsense and unfortunately there'll be ads on the channel but that's how youtubers get paid so at uh, you know, I don't think we're even able to uh, control how many ads there are or where the ads are placed in the video. I don't think you can control that as a YouTuber. That's something that Google does. But but you can't sign up for that, for the ad. You know, if you watch a channel that doesn't have ads, more than likely it's because they don't have a 1,000 subscribers or they just haven't signed up for the Google AdSense. They haven't signed up for to have ads. But if you don't have ads, you don't get paid. So you're making videos for free. So I'm still doing this for free, uh, which it's a labor of love, you know. I mean, even even when you get a thousand subscribers, I'll I'll probably be lucky to make a hundred dollars a year, you know. But but it's a it's a some you know it's a goal I'd like to accomplish. Uh, I'd like to see this channel get 150 more subscribers and get to that thousand subscriber mark and just see what that's like, you know. So, uh, when you watch one of these videos, the uh, YouTuber or the creator, I think they make like a third of a penny. You know, every time you give them a view, each view is about a third of a penny. So, it doesn't add up to very much money. Like I said, a couple hundred, a channel my size, just a couple hundred bucks a year or something like that. So, but anyway, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. If you don't want to receive notifications, then don't hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you'll get a notif you'll get an email or something every time I post a video. So if you don't want to go through that hassle, just don't hit the bell. Doesn't I don't care, you know. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You don't have to hit the bell if you don't want to. So, I will see you guys on the next one.